Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Thank you for joining me. If you are new to my channel, um, thank you for coming. Um, here we talk about anything and all uh, crochet and yarn related things. So if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning friend, thank you very much for returning and always talking yarn with me and watching my tutorials and whatnot. Don't forget to give this video a like. Also, if you look in the description box at the very top, you'll see a link and it has all my hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials. Anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. All right, so why don't we go ahead and start. So today we are going to talk some yarn for this video. Um, now, I don't know, maybe you guys are familiar with Webs, the yarn company Webs. It's also um, known as, known as yarn.com. Yarn.com or webs.com, it's the same um, yarn company. Um, they have like closeout, I highly recommend signing up to their mailing list. So they have closeout yarns often. Like all the time, they have closeout yarns. And then every once in a while, they'll have mystery bags on their closeout yarns. Well, they happen to have some mystery bags on their closeout yarns, so I purchased some. So they had three different mystery bags, and I did get two of each so we could see if they were the same or different. So they had um, a bag with um, 10 balls in it for $40. And then they had a bag with 10 balls in it. $30 and then it had a bag in it with 10 balls in it for $20 so um, it was they ran the the uh, $40 bags ran $4 of all the uh, $20 bags ran 20 or $2 of all and the $30 bags ran $3 of all well, let's check them out when I do mystery box normally I'll buy two of each to see if you could expect to get the same or different mystery bags are so much fun I love them um, I purchased webs mystery bags one time one time that's it um, I liked what I got last time though um, but you don't know what you're gonna get it's from their closeout yarn um, so you never know oh they got them all in a paper bag. It's the paper bag mystery. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's start with this is the 10 um, balls for $30. All right. So it made it $3 a ball. Well, there's no better way than to see what's inside than to rip it open. Okay. Ooh, Rico. Rico. I like Rico. Creative Melange Chunky. I have I have this. So I've had this before. It's nice. I like it. It's roving style, as you can see. It's very pretty. Um, 50 grams, 85 meters. It's 53 virgin wool and 47 acrylic. Made in Italy. I like that. Nice. And then we have uh, this one, which is James C. Brett uh, Fairground Yarn nice it feels good uh, I don't think I've ever had this one this is 100% premium acrylic I'm gonna get through growth these a little bit quickly because I have quite a few to go through I don't want my videos to last forever it's only so much bag of a day anybody can take 252 yards that's nice and it appears to be about probably a thicker three weight I like that it feels good too nice premium acrylic that is the fairground yarn so we got oh that's real soft uh barico comfort i like it that is soft that's chain spun too as you look at it it's spun in the chain formation it's a little bit lightweight for me i would say that's close to a thicker two or a very very extremely light three weight um it's 50 percent nylon and 50 percent acrylic it's very very soft i like that and it's a gorgeous red beautiful it says it's a medium four. No way. No way. Maybe a three. Uh, I don't think that's a four. But whatever you think. Everybody's got their own idea of what that could be. I think that's a lighter three, but whatever. Three weight. Three, we'll call it a three weight. But it's pretty. It's so, like, swooshy and soft. And that's Seberico Comfort. I like that. Mm, my favorite so far. Let me check out the yardage. I tell you the yardage on it. 
of 210 yards. Nice. These are all three bucks a bowl. I got some sig Signet DK. I've had this before. This is just a, kind of an average 100% acrylic uh, value yarn. But it's by the Signet brand. So yeah, it feels kind of like an average acrylic, you know. Not the softest, not the not not the worst. It just feels fine. It's scarfable. I would wear wear a scarf out of it. It's a beautiful color. Very, very pretty. So this is DK, which stands for double knit, and that means it's a lightweight number three. And it is 100% acrylic, and it's 298 meters, so you got about 325 yards of, yeah, it feels pretty good. Red Heart with Love, probably, is what I would say. Nice, nice, three bucks, three bucks. Got some smaller ones in here. Um, never heard of that one. Made in Italy, Bio. There you go. I'm going to let you read that one. 100% cotton. Feels, it feels okay. Not the softest cotton I've ever felt, but it, then again, it's not the worst. I, w I, I would wake, make a garment out of it. It's garment-worthy cotton. Um, it is organic. It is a lighter weight, though. Not bad, not bad. I've never heard of that. I like to see yarns I've never seen before. Never even heard of that brand at all. 180 meters, so about 200 yards there. I like the red. Got another one here. Adrophil, uh, set of silk. Feels kind of like a microfiber a little bit. Um, there's about um, 130 yards here. I don't know what the... Oh, 50 cotton, 30% silk, and 20% nylon. Feels nice. I like it. Four weight, probably. Nice. Very neutral. Good. Alright, moving on. <laughs> Shkipkis. I can't ever say it. Katona. This is their, uh, this is, uh, 50 grams, about 130 yards. It's a mercerized cotton. Very fine. I like the color of the gray, but it's very, it, it's very fine. Too fine for me to use. But, it's so pretty. See that? This one up a little bit here. Let's see. This is linen. Plymouth Yarns linen. I'm not good at pronouncing words here. You'll, you'll realize that soon. 42 linen tip, uh, tin cotton and 48 rayon. I like it. It's a pretty color. Not much here though. You know, but it'd be good for a scrap yarn project. Okay, I gotta hurry. I'm never gonna get through these. Okay, that was a $30 one. Carry on Simply Soft. Very beautiful. Love this one. Pagoda. That's the color. Am I right? It is. Um, I like Carry on Simply Soft. Three bucks isn't bad, you know. It's over $3 at Walmart, so. Uh, you know, Karen, if you're familiar with Carry on Simply Soft, I use it quite a bit, uh, well, when I make baby dresses and whatnot. Um, it's great. It's 100% acrylic. So over 300 yards here. It's of a four weight. And then I got this Hayfield Bonus DK Extra Value. I like the Hayfield uh, um, <clears throat> Bonus. I usually get the Aaron weight though, the four weight. But this is a DK. I like this. this is a value acrylic. It's uh, it's it's a little bit uh, softer than some value acrylics. I think I always like the Hayfield acrylic. Um, and it's machine washable, 100 grams. DK, so it's a three weight. I think it's a thicker three weight. Yeah. All right. I tried to find the yardage. Oh, 306 yards. Good deal for that. All right. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was my my three dollar bag. Okay. Three dollar bag. Let me find my other three dollar bag. So I can. Uh,
they didn't send me. Well, maybe they put both of them in one bag. We'll see. Okay, here's the other three yellow bags. We're going to see if it's the same. All right, so, you know, it's good sometimes to have the same so you got more to work with. So I got another one of these, the, the Barico Comfort, which was the softest one of the bunch. That's nice. Um, I got another... Uh, some of these are kind of messy. I got another uh, Shecky Katona, same color. Good, good. This one is something I didn't. This is, oh, Sublime. <clears throat> I didn't get this one for, <clears throat> excuse me, I have allergies today. This is Sublime Baby Cashmere Merino Silk DK. Nice, 50 grams, three bucks a ball. 75 uh, merino, 20 silk, 5 cashmere. Silk feels really good. I like the color too. It's about a, it's a DK. It's a little thicker of a DK. Um, I didn't get this last time. This is a Shekemeyer. It looks like a mercerized cotton as well. Yeah. Number two weight mercerized cotton. All right, got that one. Oh, Patton's Tahiti. I didn't get this one last time. So, this is 99 cotton, one polyester. It actually feels pretty good, but man, now there's some lightweight going. I can't use that, <laughs> but it's pretty. Too lightweight, too lightweight. Ooh, so got some Lion Brand Hometown. It's always useful. I love the red. Three fifty though really isn't. I mean, three dollars really isn't too much of a bargain on that. Um, but it's still not bad. Make a hat out of this. This is a hundred percent acrylic. Uh, bulky number six. Got Savannah's Choice Lion Brand. Again, three bucks really isn't too much of a value on that one either. But. Um, Medium weight number four. I like the washed blue jean look on that one. Patents, 100% four ply cotton. That is like thread stuff. That's nothing I would ever use. Mercerized, make doilies and stuff with that. So yeah. Super lightweight. Here's some different stuff. Here's another Vanish Choice uh, yarn. I like the green, very pretty. Nice hat maker material. And then I got a King Cole Timeless. Ooh, that's soft. Timeless Chunky. Um, 90 uh, Premium Acrylic Tin Alpaca. 164 yards. And it is a bulky number five. Again, great hat making material for me. That's soft. I like them. So that was 10 balls each. $3 a ball. And some of, a few of them were the same, but most of them were different. Let's look at the $5 a ball bag real quick and see if they are comparable. Let me throw these in the, in the box so I don't lose them. I apologize that my video was so long I didn't realize, I guess, how long it would take me to <laughs> open all these boxes here. I got carried away. I try to keep my videos kind of short. But... All right, so five dollars a ball here. Seriously Chunky by Signet. I like Signet. It's a good brand. Um, 100% acrylic. It's a number six weight. And I'm sure there's not a lot of yardage here, but that's okay. It's pretty green. Okay, got that. That's in, Remember, we're on the $5 ball bag. Um, this is uh, Lang Yarns. Is that a soul? Ooh, that's like a ribbon type yarn. It's pretty. I like the color. That's, that's pretty. Like tan to blue. Beautiful. It's like a chain spun a flat ribbon yarn. 160 meters, so you're about 175 yards. 50 bamboo. Oh, I'm sorry. 50 cotton, 30 uh, modal, and a th 20 silk. Feels good. I like that. Five bucks a ball. Um, so Sublime Extra Fine Merino Wool DK. We got uh, I don't know. 
100% extra fine merino. Feels good. I like it. It's a three weight, 127 yards. Five bucks. Hey, Phil, bonus chunky. I don't know why this was in the $3 bin and the $5 bin, but whatever. Because <laughs> I've got this in the in $3 one too, remember? I did get it. I just don't want to dig around for it. I guess I will. I can't find it. But anyways, this one's pink. Interesting how they, how they did that. Hey, Phil, soft twist. Ooh, I love that color. That's very, very pretty. Look at that. It's a DK. Yep, beautiful, beautiful. This might, this might be my favorite so far. Feels good. Um, and it is uh, 325, 354 yards. Uh, 90 acrylic, 10 merino. I like that. I just, I'm not a huge fan of DK weights, though. But it might be doable. That's pretty. That's worth five bucks to me. I like that one. It's this one here. Rowan. Got some Rowan. Rowan hemp tweed. It's a pretty color. I like Rowan. Rowan's one of my favorite brands of yarn. Um, kind of expensive sometimes. I'm certain that this was worth five bucks. Uh, retail anyways. I'm sure I don't know whether it's worth more than that. I can't even find any... Uh, Deets on it. Where's the deets? 75 wool, uh, 25% hemp. Nice. 104 yards. Four weight. Yep, I like that one. Okay. This one's odd. Okay. Lena Cara. This is just some fun fur. See that? Yeah, not a fan of this one. 330 meters. It's super lightweight. I like fun for a yard, but this one's kind of lightweight for me. This one's pretty. Um, Charles Stella. Never heard of that brand. Uh, 74 silk, 26 lurex. So this would be something that you could add to another yarn and make it sparkly. Or use it on its own. It's chain spun. It's a little bit kind of like date night, but not like from Lion Brain if you've ever used that, but it's not quite as, uh, it's more flat feeling. It's neat. It's a pretty color. It's like a Victorian rose color. Okay. That's just, I don't like their, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like their, uh, the way they're, uh, boxing these up. So this was in a $3 bin, now it's in a $5 bin. This is definitely not worth $5 because I can get it at Walmart for like $3.50. So, plus it was in my $3 bag. Yeah. Okay. Patton's 100% cotton DK. Um, did I already have that in the $3 bag as well? <laughs> Let's check out this last final, this other $5 bag. And then we'll do the $2 bag. Okay, so I got another one of these. Nice. Um... <laughs> it's funny that they put some in the three dollar bag and some in the five dollar bag, but they're the same thing. Come on, web. You gotta do better than that. Okay, let's see what we got in this five dollar bag. King Cole Drifter. I like King Cole Drifter, but. I believe last time I purchased this, these were in the $3 bags. That's okay though. It's a nice yarn. I like it. It's probably worth five bucks. Um, West Yorkshire Spinners Color Lab DK. Definitely, I think it's worth five bucks to me. I love West Yorkshire Spinners. It's my favorite brand of yarn. I like the white. And I love their slogan, reared, sheared, and spun in Britain. And it always smells freshly spun. Freshly off the farm. Nice. I like that one. Worth five bucks to me. All right, let's see. I don't know what this is. Lang. Pretty yellow. It's really bright. It's uh, kind of a novelty tape yarn. Mm-hmm. 100 meters. I don't know what I do with that. 
I would be take some you know you could use all these and make one big scrap project that'd be cool with all the interesting fibers uh, cloudborn baby alpaca fingering so I know that this is actually cheaper than five bucks <laughs> You go on their website because I've purchased it. Well, maybe not. I, I purchased the Aaron Way before. Maybe the fingering could be cheaper, I guess. But it is nice. It's very soft. Alpaca. Um, it's baby alpaca, 100%. One weight. Very beautiful color. Craft cotton, 100 grams. Ideal for dishcloths, five bucks. Uh, I don't know. I, I doesn't really say much about it other than great for dish cloths. So this is kind of I wouldn't pay I pay five dollars for this by itself. No, I don't even know what brand it's or I didn't. I guess that's the brand, Craft Cotton. I don't even have any yardage on it or anything. Just just under grams. <laughs> okay, King Cole Riot. I've had this many times. This is very similar to Red Heart Unforgettable. It's a beautiful color. Love that one. Um, yeah, this is worth five bucks, I think. It's a, it's a 324 yards of, it's an acrylic wool blend. Probably a, there you go. Probably a DK weight. It's nice. I like that one. Sadar Cashmere Merino Silk DK. Very soft. <laughs> I had that in the last five dollar bag, didn't I? Yeah, just a different color. I had it in gray. Now I got it in this uh, pretty red. That's pretty. Okay, and then I got a Lion Brand Hometown. No, no, it's a Woolies. It's a Woolies. All right, it's a Woolies. Uh, five bucks. You know, I don't know what Woolies is at Walmart anymore. Probably like six bucks. <laughs> Get a little bit of a deal there. So, Lime Brand Woolies. I like Woolies, though. I do like it. It's a bulky six one. And then I got some Nako. I like Nako too. This is very, very beautiful colors. This is worth five bucks to me. That is gorgeous. So, it's like kind of like Red Heart Unforgettable, but look at the sparkles running through that. Look at the colors on that one. This is probably now my favorite of them all, although it is going to be very, it's going to be lightweight. It's 10 alpaca, 10 wool. Four silk and uh, I mean four polyester and seventy six acrylic. Uh, it's in a written in a different language, so I'm trying to remember what those mean. But yes, it's very very nice. But unfortunately, I think this is closer to a two weight yard yarn. Let's check it. Let's check it. It is. It's very beautiful. Even though it is a two weight, it's probably still my favorite. The colors are absolutely to die for, and I love the sparkle on that one. Five bucks for that. I do that all day. Um, five hundred fifty yards. You can make it like a shawlette out of that. That that's enough to do that. Sometimes I can't really use two weights. I can't. Oh, it's so pretty. But if I find one I really like, I'll suffer the hand pain through for it. Keeping that one. Okay, let's look at my two dollar bag. Now, um, they. Um, I ordered two two dollar bags, but they only sent me one. I thought maybe they'd both be in here, but they weren't. So yeah, I only got one. So let's see what we got in here. Creative Cotton by Rico. Two dollars a ball. I've had Creative Cotton by Rico. It might not be. It's 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 probably a little bit more than that retail it's a nice cotton I mean it's it's garment worthy I would say but it's not the nicest cotton ever but yeah um West Yorkshire Spinners Bo Peep two bucks huh it's 52 percent uh Falkland wool and 48 nylon I like that it's pretty I love West Yorkshire Spinners and I know I say it wrong um, 122 yards. Looks like it's about a three weight. Here's a uh, sheep cheese. Sheep cheese. This one. Now this one is the um, 
100% double gassed cotton. It's probably the best cotton, well, in my opinion, I don't know, that, that sheep cheese has, but uh, everybody's different. I like the color on it. 85 meters, so about 90 yards or so. You can make a, uh, it's a four weight, uh, you can make a uh, dishcloth, a dish rag out of that, a wash rag or whatever. Sure, two bucks. Patton Smoothie DK, two bucks for this. Interesting yarns, interesting. 100% um, acrylic, 220 yards. It's probably a three weight. It's nice and shiny and it feels good. It feels good. I'd pay two bucks for that. It's nice. I got two of these uh, King Cole Merino Blend DK Super Wash. So two of these, two bucks a piece. Um, 113 yards of Super Wash New Wool White. I'd pay two bucks for those. Okay, I got another one of these Sublime Baby Cashmere Merino. Did I already get one of these in my $5 bag? Maybe it was different. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> it's funny that they... Their bags are weird. Okay. Anyway, so that's what that is. Um, Cotton 4-ply Stylecraft. Too lightweight for me. Feels good though. Two bucks. I mean, I probably wouldn't buy it, but because it's too lightweight. Um, this is Stylecraft Baby Double Knitting Wonder Soft. So this is DK Weight by Stylecraft. Two bucks. Hmm. Hmm. Feels good. 300, 322 yards. Yeah, that's worth two bucks. You can get a nice, uh, hat and booty set and stuff out of that for the baby definitely worth two bucks all right so i did not get one of my two dollar bag or one of my twenty dollar bags and <laughs> some of their it was weird how some of their yarn three dollar yarns were in the final <laughs> whatever it was a mystery i love this one's my favorite though the Nako. i'm going to keep this one the rest I'm going to give it to my neighbor right now. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time. Um, yeah, if I contact Webbs, they'll send me my other mystery bag. They, they're great. They got good customer service and everything. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. I had a good time. Had some laughs. They had some of the same yarns in the same bags. And, um, yes, this one I keep. The rest I'm going to, when I leave here, I'll just walk it over to one of my neighbors. And, um... I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Don't forget to check out my tutorials and hit that subscribe button, all right? Mystery bags. You never know what to you're going to get, right? <laughs> it's still always fun. Bye, guys.